<laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wave. Happy Tuesday. I'm sorry for my lack of composure right now. I was having a snack. Well, things feel good. The weeks are getting weirder as the curfew has been lifted. I've seen a side of y'all that I did not expect, nor did I want to encounter. But here I am, talking about all 12 phases of the moon I saw directly through your eyes the other night. People are crazy in these streets. But speaking of crazy things, let's go back to an amazing show at the Bell and Bear in Montgomery, Ohio, earlier this month. Let's we'll check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you know where we're at, the Bell and the Bear. Happy Friday night. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy a little bit of this get down, some of that deep funk, some of that bad, bad pocket, man. If you get to wiggling, let us know online. Find us, find us, find us. We love you. Matt Waters and the rest of you. Keep it super tight. <laughs> What happens when there's too much technology, you just start forgetting shit. I feel like I'm 75 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bell and the Bear, Friday night, Matt Waters and the Recipe. Get you feeling super tight, never forget about it. Get the training wheels off yourself. Get them up. Remember that. That's our gang song. Bell and Bear, everybody. Thank you for coming out, Montgomery fan. We had a lot of fun. Uh, there were surprising faces there that I have not seen those folk in a while, so it really made my night. Uh, and I think we did a little bit of drinking, mainly coffee, but Jack at some point. Okay, well, let's hop into the wild world of the internet. As you know, TikTok has occupied a little bit too much of my time, and I got some things to show you. So I don't know what they're doing, but I am interested. Um, it looks like some kind of adult drinking game, but then it turns into a construction site. And I like the tambourine involvement. It's extremely groovy. Some of the guys in the middle seem to feel it less. That's okay. It's understood. It's like watching Dance with the Stars. Some people just aren't as talented as others. I have a lot of other questions, but why can't we get our construction crews on something a little groovy? Like, I can sit in traffic as long as I can feel you work and you know what I mean? Get some kick drum up in that shit. Mm. That was something. Okay. Next. Ooh. Ooh. 
can't imagine being in the front, just getting all the juices of that sweet sound on you. Ugh. Woo! He can, he's feeling it. He's gonna have lumbar issues from this, but he's just feeling it. It's a velvet coat looking good underneath the moonlight. Ugh. That was grossly good. Okay. Boogie woogie. Ugh. Khakis and no belt? No thank you, sir. I like the ponytail. Add some flair for the turns. So, I don't know what to call this. Unfortunately, the only terminology I use on a regular basis in terms of dance is crumping, which I know is not the right answer, but I'm going to call that crumping for now. All right, what we got for last? How cold is it in Nebraska? <laughs> well, I tell could me. just tell you the temperature, but that's no fun at all. So, I thought I would demonstrate and just show you this. <laughs> Yes, he still ate it. No questions asked. It's Nebraska, okay? And you enjoy that ramen when it makes its way to your sweet, desolate part of the country. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next I want to take you to Newport on the levee to see my man Jay Banks with some new merch from Native. What up, everybody? I am going to pick up some new merch from my man Jay Banks over at the Native brand. What up, G? Oh, I need you to pop shit. a bottle say what's up. <laughs> He goes, um, Waters is gonna like the bone one because of some band. I got a St. Paul and the Broken Bones shirt that looks dead on that's, this. That's what it was. Yeah, but everyone likes the tie dye, man. Well, it's just so, it's so, it it's pops so hard. So hard. Get, man. Oh, where's this new machine at? Right here, bro. That's it. Dude. This is uh, a pretty baby here, man. $15,000. So it's a DKG printer? Is D that what it's? DTG, direct DT to garment. So what it, what it is, is it, it's a life size printer, man. You put the t shirt right here. You hold it in, hold it in place, and then it'll pull it in, do a whole layer of white, and then it'll pull it back out, and then do 16 million colors on top, bro. So my, my concept is to have the store full of native 513, native 859. Yeah. But, you know, I would never have Pittsburgh Steelers tees in there, you know, because it wouldn't make sense for yeah. like, for me to have them. But you gotta but, be able to but, make those tees. I've, I've got a bake shop here. So all these are blank tees, blank hoodies. So, Dude, so you can officially come in here and do everything like that? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll be able to come in here, pick out a blank t-shirt, and I want to do the same thing with you, so we'll be able to hold your logo in, in our iPad, where you can have your fans come in, they can pick whatever they want. They can pick a hoodie, they can pick a, a t-shirt, a long sleeve, a yellow one, a white one, an orange one, and put your Matt Waters logo on it. So, and that's how it works. That's how it's able to, to print right on top of the white. Yeah. If the white was a water-based ink, you know what I mean? Then yeah. you try to put those colors on top. It's gonna, it's gonna it's smear. Good. Check it out. The way that I'm able to get such, such good definition is keeping the black over top of it. Yeah. And then using garment black over here, so it's gonna delete that, that black square. That's and awesome. Leave just the tie dye. Able to see it. And there's, there's no price difference between this and it's just what color you want to use. Dude, that's nutty. We'll take it over there and just uh, heat press it one more time to cure it and it's good to go. And that paper like protects the surface of the shirt? Yeah, and uh, since it's since it's paper, it's gonna absorb some of that. Too, if I would have used the parchment paper, it would have just uh, it would have just uh, tried to creep its way out instead of absorbing all the shit. I love that, dude. Hot off the press. Yeah, baby. Jay yeah. Banks, ladies and gentlemen, hey. the official baker of the recipe. That's what I'm talking about. Right And that's my man Jay Banks over at Native on the Levee. Go check it out. He's going to have a new store opening up soon. And he's also doing so much good stuff, y'all. I mean, for us to be able to have, we're eventually going to have something on the website where you can go design your own Matt Waters and the recipe merch. I can't wait to see how y'all want to put it together. I can't wait to see you wearing it shows. It's going to be so much fun. So thank you, brother. All right, let's talk about some dates for the week. Uh, you can always find the full calendar on my website, but coming up this week, you can catch me at Pearl's on Wednesday for half-off bottles of wine night. That's the 24th. Friday the 26th, I'll be at the Wise Owl Wine Bar out in Westchester from 6.30 to 9.30. February 27th, I'll be at the Little Miami Brewing Company. 
from 6.30 to 9.30 as well. And then as always, every single Sunday, find me at Fishbowl at the Banks from 7 to 11 p.m. Get a table in the front. Come sit with me. I love it. Uh, March 5th, I'll be at Grainworks out in Westchester. They got a new build on the interior. There's plenty of indoor seating. Come hang out with us probably from 7 to 10 p.m., maybe a little later because y'all have been quite rowdy there as of recent. Uh, March 7th, I'm at the Northern Road Distillery. This is the spot my boy Kyle Hackett turned me on to. I'll be playing from 1 to 5 p.m. Great beer, great food, awesome vibe. And then March 11th, you can find us back at Latitudes. I'll be solo acoustic. My boy Winnie working in the kitchen, serving up that sweet food. Come and see me. That's from 7 to 10 p.m., maybe 7 to 11. All right, let's talk about the recipe, y'all. Starting this Thursday, you can find us at the Cincy Tin Roof from 7 to 10 p.m. That'll be a great time. I'm pretty sure they got a new pitcher deal if you want to be a drinking. Uh, and then we're going to kick off our spring touring in Asheville, North Carolina on March 17th. That's St. Patty's Day from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. The next night, the 18th, we're going to be in Columbia, South Carolina at the Tin Roof, 7 to 10. And then we're going to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. We're going to Hilton Head, baby. That's how real it's getting. We're going to be on the beach at the Tiki Hut from 1 to 5 p.m. Come and hang out with us. We'll be kicking it there all day long. Then we're spending the 20th and the 21st in Columbia, South Carolina with DJ Combat at the Tin Roof. Uh, on Saturday, it's going to be 5 to 7 for Combat. Then he's going to join us for us, our set, hopefully. And then I'll be playing solo acoustic 1 to 4 p.m. the next day. And he'll be DJing that evening. We'll probably try to stick around and catch some of that. Then you can find us at the Lost Patty on March 27th. That's a new spot for us in Nashville, Tennessee. So we hope our Nashville fam comes out. It'll be a Friday night. We're going to be bumping. We're going to be running that sound. So we're going to make sure it's hot. And uh, you're going to find me at the Lexington Tin Roof playing a duo set on April 1st. Uh, it's to be announced on who's going to be playing with me from 7 to 11 p.m. That's Lexington, Kentucky, baby. And then, of course, we're going back to Cleveland, y'all. Seabar's Euclid Tavern, April 10th. 7 to 11 p.m. Come kick it. I can't wait to see you, Cleveland fam. And that's it for the dates for right now. Hop on my website, Matt Waters Music, if you want to see the rest of them. Uh, you can get ticket info and times as well. I'll catch you soon. Peace, everybody.